Hi guys, it's snowing here today. So instead of filming my allotment video down on the plot, I'm going to share with you the seeds that I've got for this coming year because it's just a little bit too cold out there for me. I was really overwhelmed with which seeds to buy. I was faced with like the catalogue and I just found it so difficult because I was worried in case I got it wrong. And then Trevor said to me, well, it's not like you can really get it wrong. We can, we can try again next year if something doesn't grow. We've just got to get on and do it and see. Um, so these are the choices that I got from, I actually had a voucher for Christmas, so I picked these up from the Sutton Seed catalogue. So this aubergine one we got free and this came because I think we bought so many packets of seeds. So we've got a mix of seeds. Um, although the main reason for growing my own is that I'll know where the vegetables have come from, another reason is to do with cost. So I don't want to be spending a fortune on seeds every year. So I got some F1 varieties, but I also got some that I can hopefully keep the seeds from. I got these sweet red peppers. I try to buy things as well that I know that we eat a lot of and I always am buying these sweet red peppers and it's like two pounds for two of them so that was one that I definitely wanted to give a go. I got these spring onions which everyone started calling salad onion now I don't know that bugs me though but these are the ramrod variety. I got this spinach it's an organic one and it's F1 Palco. The courgette is the F1 Defender I've seen lots of people raving about these on YouTube so I went for those. Some Shirley tomatoes. I would like to get some other tomatoes as well because I'm a big tomato fan. When I was a bit overwhelmed about what seeds to buy, I heard lots of people mentioning to look out for this RHS Award of Merit and that's what these have got. Actually, all of these ones have got an Award of Merit. I got this rocket. It doesn't seem to have any other name to it. It's just the Sutton Seeds Rocket. This one is spaghetti squash. That sounded quite fun. And I also got this F1 Sundance Sweet Corn. And it looks really nice on the picture anyway. I hope it grows like that. I did try ordering some seeds from this garden swap shop.co.uk, um, but they never came. I only ordered one packet, it was 40p, and I think I can, it's been well over a month now, so I think I can probably claim that back through PayPal. There's a local potato day coming up, which is on the 7th of February. I've never been to a potato day before, but there's going to be, um, oh, I'd already, I've already ordered some annual potatoes. They just haven't arrived yet, but there's going to be other potatoes that hopefully I can get there. I would really like to try growing some sweet potatoes because again, that's something that we buy quite a lot of. And there's going to be a seed exchange there as well. So hopefully I can get the other seeds that I want to get. I have done a little um, note of some of the other ones that I want to get. So there's, um, I want to get daikon, which is mooly or, you know, the, the white radish, um, parsley, garlic, big cucumbers and cucumbers for pickling, kabocha, asparagus. I would really like to do asparagus, <laughs> excuse me, asparagus. But I know that takes... Um, it won't grow this year, but I think it has to have a year in the ground first. But we haven't really set the allotment up exactly how we want it yet. So I'm not sure if I might put that off to next year, just because I don't want to have to move it after we've already put it in. And we're not, we haven't really got the layout sorted out just yet. We'd also like to do some mushrooms. So possibly getting something in down at the back of the shed, because it's quite shady there. And I'd also like to do some shallots. And I know Trevor's got plans for lots of chilies. Oh, I think there's a chili I haven't shown you. I forgot about this one. We got this when we went to the Eden Project. This is called a sparkler, but I know we'd probably like to do more chilies because Trevor eats lots of chilies. And I think they would be really good for later in the year for putting with like tomato sauces and just stringing up so we can use them throughout the year. So for the same reason, I'd like to do some onions and shallots. So I'm thinking of things that I can keep or later into the autumn and like over Christmas period. This was another one I forgot to show you. I think this came free on the front of a magazine and it's peas. Um, Calvedon Wonder peas. I've not heard of it before, but it says it's an adaptable dwarf variety with a long sowing season. So we'll try that one out as well. If you've got any recommendations of something that I should try, I would definitely love to hear them because I need all of the advice that I can possibly get going into this our first year on the plot. See you next Tuesday guys, bye bye!